How annoying can this be? It's a block between our humanity and each other. It's tearing down communities to some extent, and it's certainly making it much harder to engage with our youth. Now you are in charge of putting together programs for youth in your community, and you're struggling, I'm guessing, to get kids off of these and actually to the events. And you're worried about a whole generation of consumers as opposed to creators being developed. And you've heard about anxiety increasing, depression, suicide, and you're feeling a bit powerless and, and want to do something. And I, I understand because I was right there with you. And I think, well, first of all, hi, <laughs> I'm Mandy. Um, and I run a program called Click Happy. And Click Happy was invented um, because I felt a call to action um, when we had a, a youth suicide in our community. And my background is I am a military nurse and I specialized in teaching well-being to um, soldiers and their families. And I also am uniquely placed because I'm also a past winner of New Zealand's Creative Photographer of the Year. So I have this art and well-being background. Uh, and I, what I did is I developed a framework for our charitable trust and that framework um, is used to help kids remove blocks from their creative path. And um, we teach it using this. And we teach it by teaching the kids how to photograph um, <laughs> and make huge jumps. I mean, it took me years to learn what I can teach a kid in one day on to use this. So I can teach how to use it like a DSLR um, with all the manual settings, and then I teach how to edit on this with a free app. So it takes away any barriers to creativity because most of them have them in their back pocket. And that's in, just, I've, I've traveled and taught this thing in 15 different regions around the country. So, and I specifically target the lower decile schools. Most of them have these. And so the barriers are, are quite low. And so what I'm asking is that you take this opportunity to bring Click Happy to your region. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up in my little caravan and it's the Click Happy caravan. And I will teach live workshops where schools can bring their kids to the workshop. And I teach them how to really upskill on this. And then the kids who are really engaged will then go on to um, apply for scholarships um, to attend our um, national program, which is run via Zoom. So they get to build their creative communities with kids from all over the country. And then what happens is they're in that, they learn how to be documentary photographers and they are challenged to become visual poets and to join the visual, poetry, uh, visual Poet Society. And the way that they get into that is they need to take their newfound skills and they apply it by working with a local charity and telling a visual story of that charity and helping to spread the vision of that charity of how their world could be better. And uh, it's by creating their visual poetry. And so I'm just asking you to bring us so that your kids don't miss out on becoming part of this national movement um, and becoming part of our visual poetry society. I, I want you to be responsible for helping kids in your community to shift from being mindless scrollers and consumers to being compassionate and empowered creatives. Thank you. All I saw was complete engagement where they actually, they became their own um, self-directed learners. Mm -hmm. They didn't need, once Mandy set them up with the knowledge they needed, they just um, took, took over their learning. The number of dealings that we've had with phones and technology 
is mainly all negative and for them to be able to learn how to use their their device in a positive way um, is would be great and click happy is um, fundamental in actually teaching these kids how to do that so mm -hmm. it's great really appreciate that